the 3D Doppler. Okay, so basically this radar generates 10 and a half billion radio waves. These radio waves hit the golf ball and the golf club and they change frequency. We use about 120,000 samples per second through the entire downswing and the entire flight of the golf ball to determine exactly where in space and time uh, the club and the golf ball is. And how do you vary from TrackMan? Uh, exact same technology, we track the golf club and the golf ball the exact same way, we measure spin the exact same way. Um, we have uh, the software will automatically cal calibrate the uh, radar so you don't need uh, automatic leveling feet and we have a manual aiming system so we don't use the camera to, to aim. Uh, you can also use a putting laser just to aim your radar that keeps it at a, at a good price point and still gives you uh, the accuracy that you would need. Great, and how does that also compare to the Zelocity? Uh, the Zelocity airline? is a uh, two-dimensional Doppler, so they measure apparent speed and then they start calculating what the, what the, the golf ball should be doing. Uh, they, don't, they do not measure spin directly, which is the most important uh, uh, parameter of ball flight. They use a spin from lift calculation, uh, looking at the trajectory and the speed of the golf ball, and then they calculate a spin number, which is, uh, for the most part, inaccurate. Perfect. Well, thank you very much, David.